What's up, Buzz? And welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are headed to Ann Arbor, Michigan this weekend. I'm super excited because I'm actually going to be reconnecting with two of my dear friends. The first one is Jaden, who you have definitely seen me perform with. And the second one is my dear friend, Billy, which if you've been following me for years, you will definitely recognize from Ganja Barbie. When I first started my career, I used to dance with him and another dancer known as T Barbie, who has become a queen in the WeHo scene. But it has been, I want to say maybe like a decade, at least eight years since I've seen this Billy. So I'm super excited to go check out his new dance studio and go see his farm and meet his husband. And then I'm ready to just give a sickening show per usual. So stay tuned, buckle up, grab your lighters, get your ganja, because we're about to get lit. Now I just got into motherfucking Detroit. Jaden picks me up tells me we're going to Tough Taco. When I tell you we drive past this little old rinkity dinkity truck, I said, now baby, get the light on, Gorge. They can't even oh. see how beautiful I look. Oh, well, not much better, but. <laughs> it's like spotlights. Oh, it's spotlight. Girl, let me, please oh, right let here. me get the tiny taco or the Tough Taco. She thought she was taking me to a motherfucking gas station taco stand. <laughs> Girl, what happened to the Mexican restaurant we were supposed to go to? Did they close because I was late? My flight was delayed today. Then I got to the hotel, the room wasn't checked in. Girl, the trials and tribulations of drag stardom. Look at this tiny taco, tough taco. Girl, every day is Taco Tuesday. <laughs> Just right over here next to the gas station. Stunning. I mean, it probably is good. I really don't care. All the places you're finding are trucks. Yes. Lady Faggot, what are we gonna do? <laughs> is, it, is it Miss Faggot? Miss Faggot. Miss Faggot. Well, for today it's Lady Faggot. Lady Faggot. Lady Faggot, I love it. Just We're going to Senor Lopez Mexican restaurant. Oh, Senor Lopez. I <laughs> like him. We're going to Mexican I town. think I know him. Girl, and then where are we going tonight for the drag We're show? We're going to the Gigi. To, oh, to the Gigi Goods? To the Gigi Hadids? I guess. To the Gigi yeah. Gorgeouses? I yeah. love those GGs. And then, what are we smoking? We start right now. Oh yes, bring out the gods. It's raining here, you know, because that just rain keeps following me. A lighter, of course. We got a lighter, hold on. It's the cannabis content for me. Did you know I'm a singer now? What are we smoking on? I don't know. Okay, stunning. Girl, tell me why the restaurant is next to the funeral chapel. I am dying. Michigan is very unique to me. It is just truly a unique state. Yes, we definitely want drinks. I'm actually living for this presentation. How cute. I need my own. Sorry, kids. <laughs> Someone has cotton mouth. She was extra thirsty tonight. So Jaden got us queso. I'm trying to behave, but you know I love my cheese. Mm. Trying to be healthier. I didn't get enchiladas. We went with shrimpies. Little salad, little rice. Yum. Okay, we're passing the strip club and pulling up to Gigi's. <laughs> All right, y'all. Gigi's is lit. <laughs> Naughty, naughty girl last night. Time to get up and get ready for Miss Billy. Look at who I just teamed up with. <laughs> what is the t-shirt? Oh, we got the Barbies t-shirt. We are branded. Baby, we are pulling up to the farm. She drove me through the wheat fields. We passed the apple boxes. 
Girl, and here we go. Look at this place. It's gorge. How? It's giving Texas chainsaw. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It's so cute. Look at my friend. Living on the farm, Gorge. I love the blue steps. That's super cute. Did you? I love it. What's this? The back house? Is this where I stay? Oh. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Hi, cutie. Oh. How does Billy have his own little museum? Wow. Get into this. So this is what? All the old stuff you found? Cool. I want a museum in my house. That's fierce. Get into this little scooter. No. Scooter oh my god, that's so cute. With the Crocs, look, they got me in Crocs, girl. They got me in freaking Crocs. She said, take off those rhinestone shoes. We're going to the barn. I said, okay, Miss Thing. Look at all this. What is this thing? Oh, that's a, 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 like a blower? No, that was a, that's a chainsaw. Oh, it's a chainsaw. See, I told you, Texas Chainsaw. I knew the vibes. Okay, we just pulled up to Billy's studio. I can't believe it. He opened his own studio here. Epic dance company work queen. Naturally, we got some neon pops as we enter. We've got our spring decor. Now, this used to also be an old church, so they kept all these beautiful booths. Wow, oh my gosh. This is so cute. I love these pews. Is that what they're called? Yep. So pretty. Did you make this art? I did. Work. Multi-talented queen. Look at dancers only. Do I have to take off my shoes? Oh, she's got the TikTok lights. She's got the a photo wall. Yes, okay, love. Look at this, it's huge. Oh my God. <gasps> So cute! Wow, this is so cool, Billy. I love it. And tall ass ceilings, that's so nice. Okay, we are at Charlie Mops. We're gonna have a little fried chicken with spicy ranch salad, yum. Billy got the burger. Where's your crispy bacon? Oh, it's underneath. For a four-year-old. And look at these interesting fries. Now I understand what you were saying. Okay, now we're going to Billy's husband's salon. That's in an old church. How freaking gorgeous is this? Oh my God, it's beautiful. Wow. Okay, we're pulling up to Miss Nectarines. It's time to get sickening. Oh, crrr. I just want to 
to say how much it means to me after being on the show almost over a decade ago to still be touring the world, doing what I love, and to be doing it as a trans woman when our rights are constantly trying to be eradicated, trying to be legislated. I like to say that I'm living proof that there's no stopping us. You know what I... When I told my parents about 10 years ago that I was gonna become a marijuana drag queen, they were like, we're cutting you off financially. <laughs> but now it's just been so amazing to see their growth as parents, not only with my art form, but also with the person that I have become. And ultimately the person I always was, but just didn't have enough courage and education to be. So while we may be living in very trying times, I am holding on to the faith that we are also living in times of change. And it is, it is really, really now that your voice matters the most. So please make sure you are registered to vote. Please make sure you are exercising your voice. And please do not forget, there is no LGB community without the T, okay? are specifically because of our trans siblings of color. So, let's make some noise for anybody in America who is black or brown and constantly faced with judgment. It is because of their bravery and their courage that I am able to get up here as a white person and travel the world, and it wouldn't be possible without them. So, thank you. Thank you for being your bartenders, and make sure you meet somebody new tonight. Make a new friend, give them a hug, give them some love. If you got it, give them a nug, whatever you got. I love you guys. Thank you, Necto! And how's the new look? Bitch over. I still gotta add the glove. But she is giving you couture, honey. Plastic, rings, human hair, cuntuella. Let's go give a midnight show. People like Kylie Sonique, Gia Gunn, who are very far in their transition, but what I like to show people is how I have gotten to where I am today from the very beginning, so. decided she was hungry and not to behave again bacon and feta my favorite concoction my friend Kristen taught me this and for dessert a little cinnamon roll with some icing vibe mmm we'll diet again tomorrow what a wonderful wonderful gig I gotta say it was a really special trip it was so nice catching up with Jaden and Billy and just getting a chance to be on stage again. This is actually my second time this year that I've performed. And you know, interestingly enough, Billy's husband was like, are you excited? And I told him the truth, which was not really. <laughs> I feel overweight. I feel older. My stamina is not what it was. I keep smoking these freaking death sticks. And so, you know, I think I have like a lot of anxiety when it comes to performing, which is weird because I've never really had that before. I also always felt like the baddest bitch in the room. And I've been having to work, work on getting that back. But tonight I was reminded that I am that girl. Actually, I am that woman. And I just feel really grateful. I feel so grateful, you know, it's like, I tell people like, imagine if people asked you every day, like, are you excited to go to work? You're like, no bitch, it's work, it's my job. 
But the truth is, I've come to learn the reason why I'm not really excited by club gigs is ultimately because they don't challenge me anymore. I've done this for a decade. I've been to every gay club across, well not every gay club, but a lot of gay clubs across the world. I've learned when I'm not challenged, I'm bored. And when I'm bored, I make poor decisions. And that's why I'm so focused on getting this music career of mine off the ground, because that's really going to be a challenge. And I think ultimately, that's really going to help me get back into the Laganja of it all. So anyways, I just wanted to leave you with some late night thoughts and tell you that I'm just so grateful for this life I'm living. Even the downs, they make me stronger and they make me appreciate these beautiful moments like this trip that much more. So anyways, I am so lucky because I am staying at the airport hotel. We'll be staying overnight at the airport hotel. Yes, the airport hotel. So all I have to do literally is get my bags in the morning and there's like a special little entrance for the people staying at the West End to just enter through security. It's gonna be such a breeze. I'm so looking forward to that. I'm so excited to end this little vlog with a dear visit with my awesome friends. So anyways, we'll see you in the morning. Love you guys. I mean, seriously, from now on, I just wanna stay at airport hotels that have direct TSA connects. How fierce is this? She's ready to fly out. No line. I'm fire. I'm smoking.